Hello, uh, my name is Gabrielle Cortine, and I have the privilege of being part of the Public History Master's Program at CUNY College of Staten Island. Um, a part of getting my master's degree was working at an internship and creating a final project based on my experience. Um, so this past semester, I worked with the Lower East Side Jewish Conservancy, who as an organization, their goal is to preserve Jewish history in New York City through the use of guided tours. Um, so because of my interest in fashion, we decided that I would create a tour for them on the history of the garment district and the garment industry itself. Um, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about my tour. Um, so the first stop on my tour is the Brown Building, which was the site of the Triangle Shirtwaist Factory fire. Um, I decided to begin at this site because Many of the victims of the fire were actually Jewish immigrants, and I felt it spoke to the fact that by the 20th century, um, Jewish immigrants actually made up the majority of the garment industry workforce. Also, this the Brown Building is part of um, the old garment district that was located on the Lower East Side. Um, however, due to the Shall We Save New York campaign that was created by Fifth Avenue merchants, um, Jewish garment industrialists were forced to move um, north of Penn Station. Um, so in 1919, it was decided that new garment laws would be created, um, and this would become known as the Garment Center Capital, um, which is actually the next stop on my tour. Um, and this, this site is considered to be the foundation of the new garment district. Um, it actually began as an idea between um, a dress manufacturer named Mac Kanner, who was the child of Jewish immigrants, and a cloak and suit manufacturer named Saul Singer, who was Russian Jewish. Um, the garment center capital was extremely successful and included stores, showrooms, and factories, um, but there was obviously still a demand for more garment lofts. Um, the next stop on my tour was a building that was created by Frank E. Gilbert. Um, who was actually at the time considered to be one of the city's best builders by the Jewish Forum. Um, he created this building that was located at 205 West 39th Street um, with three clothing manufacturers who each received two floors after construction was completed. Um, so the rest of the stops on my tour were buildings that were created by Abraham E. Lefcourt, um, who was deemed the creator of the New Garment District. Um, so these buildings include 237 to 239 West 37th Street, um, the Left Court Marlboro Building, the Left Court Normandy Building, and the Left Court Clothing Center. Um, Left Court was born Abraham E. Lefkowitz, um, but his parents, who were Russian Jewish immigrants, decided to change their last name to Left Court in 1909. Um, in his work, Lefcourt made sure to only work with Jewish architects, as many Jewish architects had a very difficult time finding work in the city at the time. Um, and because of these collaborations, the new garment lofts that were created um, became a largely Jewish industry. Um, the Lefcourt Marlboro Building was the first building that Lefcourt named after himself, but this became a tradition with all of the buildings that he created um, thereafter. Um, by the 1930s, though, Left Court and other real estate developers noticed um, that the garment industry was moving to increasingly cheaper places like New Jersey. Um, the Left Court Clothing Center was actually supposed to be three buildings, um, but after noticing this trend, they decided to stop at the one and not move forward with the other two buildings. Um, but Left Court was still incredibly successful. He amassed a fortune of $100 million. Um, and he is considered to have one of the most iconic Jewish American rags to riches stories um, as he grew up in poverty but able, was able to have so much success as he grew up. Um, in the new garment district, he really created his own left court city um, and had an undeniable impact on the city itself, along with um, the other Jewish Americans and immigrants who helped create the new district and the industry itself. Um, so that's a bit on my tour. Um, I just really had an incredible time working on this project and I'm so incredibly grateful to Lori Weissman of the Lower East Side Jewish Conservancy and Professor Susan Smith-Peter um, from College of Staten Island for all of their help and support throughout the semester. So I hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you so much. Bye.